manger. people welcome to another edition to my wannabe podcast which is called the modcast uh i have with me one of uh my followers that you've probably seen here before his name is ortizel 18 let's give it up for him what's up ortizel where you're not there why Oh my god, that's a great intro. Where, where are you? You're live. We're live. We're live. Yeah, yeah. Okay, welcome. Welcome. Thank where you. where did you go there? Where did you go there? See, that, that was my that was my intro. We talked about this. No, we did was, not. No, we yes, did we not. Did. No. Yes, Be, we normal. Did. Be normal. <laughs> Be normal. I will pick on you now just for that that little hijinks thing. Anyway. Um, we are here to talk about movies because uh, or I actually I thought that was a great idea uh, about you talking about movie and stuff because we never really done that. Uh, yeah. But well, uh, yeah, we're man, talk, what's up? Well, we're gonna talk about that later because first I want to like get like a little attention to this. You want to get attention to what? Something that happened like probably yesterday or two days ago that uh-huh. I want to try talk about it and what. I still don't get about this. So, I don't know if you're aware of this YouTuber name, Allie. Like A- biggest... Allie? Allie? Yeah. Yeah. No. The number no. one. Why? What happened? So basically, him and then this other YouTuber named Ashley Marie Gaming got hacked unexpectedly, and oh. some hacker uploaded a video that was talking about like control. How? What was it? Your they're forcing their viewers to like subscribe and I forgot what else, but the main thing like I don't get is like YouTube for doing YouTube. Anyone can do it. Yeah, obviously. Oh, yeah. I know if you've done YouTube, I haven't done much of YouTube, because I'm slacking, but basically anyone can do YouTube. Basically it's not all about control power. So that's like the one thing I still don't get as hackers these days. They like basically want to try is get other people's attention. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Hackers, I mean, if they want something, they'll want something no matter what, you know, yeah. and there's nothing you could really do about it. But YouTube, I I wouldn't know why. They, so what what exactly happened again? They were what? What did they do? Basically, since Ali, he's a big like the number one Call of Duty uh, YouTube channel. Yeah, he does. Like now he's starting to do is like Pokemon Go. Now a little bit of vlogs. Um, but basically, his main channel got hacked. Yeah, and basically this hacker also hacked into another YouTuber that I'm starting to get familiar with now. Uh-huh. They both got hacked yesterday or two days ago, and a video was dropped in their channels. And they also he he mentioned that I forgot what exactly he said, but he said something about that he was going to delete every single of their videos that they've been post posting since day one. Oh, oh, that's kind of that's kind of messed up exactly it's like all the hard work and effort they that these youtubers put in uh-huh are 
going to get deleted by this hacker. You know, th there's those people that just like to, to mess with people just because they have nothing else to do. It sucks. That's the kind of world we live in. Uh, are you mm -hmm. eating something? <laughs> yeah, that's why that's why we're doing the social eating. Whatever. Actually, oh, we, we were, but yeah, we just, yeah, we just kind of just did. Oh, well, it's well, nine o'clock. Well, well, yeah, it's nine o'clock. Yeah, yeah, usually at this time. Uh, Boogie got hacked back a while ago. Oh, I heard about that too. So, uh, Lunaka, what was the thing with Boogie? How did he get hacked? Um, Wait, Boogie? I didn't yeah. hear anything about this. Yeah, uh, Lunaku, I, I've heard, yeah, he's he's bringing it up in chat. Uh, he did also, uh, I, I, I heard of that. I heard of that. But I really don't know what the power play of these people that hack people do, what, what, what's it supposed to do or whatnot. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. Usually they'll think they'll think of it as like what like these YouTubers, like I said, Ali A, Ashley Marie Gaming, he's thinking of them doing the wrong way just to get people's attention, which basically anyone can do that. Like I said, YouTube is not just mainly let's just like to get control of power. It's just basically just to have fun, you know, entertain. Like basically like for me, I used to like whenever I go on YouTube, I used to do like watch gaming videos or how to videos, but now basically I, I just do is like just let's listen to music video or yeah. stuff. Okay. Well, well, yeah, that sucks to be the hackers or to be the hacky <laughs> that, you know, I, yeah. I just hope none of us have to experience that and stuff. Someone's called the cell phone company and pretended to be Boogie and was able to use information to take control of his youth. Oh, wow. That's not good. Ooh. Yeah, yeah I think good. that is what the major troll... <laughs> That is the major trolling of people that people should just respect people's privacy and just let it be, you yeah. know, just let it be. But you can never, yeah, you won't be able to stop that from yeah. the world doing it. Yeah, because so right, right now, this situation right now, they're they're like currently investigating yeah. who's this hacker and stuff. So luckily uh -huh. they got their YouTube accounts back, but also he was targeting it is like with their PSN. Like the PlayStation accounts or Xbox oh, accounts. Oh, those guys. Uh, uh, I forgot who they were. It was uh, I those people. Well, I don't know. The, I know there was like an individual group. I'm trying to remember who they were, but I, I you know what? If a hacker wants to get in something, they will get into something. You could do yeah, what look. it takes. You could yeah. you could put as much security as you want, but they will get into it no matter what. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, luckily, almost my account, my PlayStation account got hacked, which luckily I call PlayStation. Luckily, uh, yeah. <clears throat> excuse me, I got my account back and almost yeah. like a week. I had to wait for it. Yeah, that took. Anyways, let's get to our subject at hand, which pretty much was, um, what's it called? Basically, basically, basically so movies. Topic that was, yeah, so basically the topic. So as some of you are aware, no, I need to monster. That since we are approaching near 2017, uh -huh. so basically, as some of you guys been already been like hearing rumors or stuff like what are we expecting in 2017? Which obviously it's like, you know, gaming, uh, cars, you know, all those kind, all those kind of stuff. But mainly now, what many people are talking about is movies. That's movies. the one thing uh, I want to get. Yeah. Yeah. So. so Basically, I was doing my little research throughout my Facebook, like basically like all my social media and stuff. And then I came up to this video and it said, take me to 2017. And it listed some of the movies that, <coughs> excuse me, that are going to come out next year. Mm -hmm. And then some of my other friends told me also other movies that weren't in the video that I saw. So look, I took down all the notes that that the movies are going to come out next year. And some of them are, I'm surprised by the looks of this list. Yeah. There's a lot of movies that are coming out next year. Some of them you may already know about it. Okay. Because you've seen the previous yeah. movies. Let, let's start off with one. Throw one out there right now. So first one on my list, we got Avatar 2. The one oh. from James Cameron. Yes. Yes. Everyone's been waiting for it. What did you think of the first movie? Yeah, at first time when I saw this movie, it was like, okay, it was amazing. Like, I, I liked the layout style they had it. Yeah. But then after seeing it a couple of times, it was just like, it was boring. Uh -huh. So it was like, iffy, you could say. It was, it was like, I wouldn't say it's a bad movie or a good movie. Uh huh. It was like, kind of like in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, yeah, I think it was mostly known for its special effects. Because basically, yeah. it was people using 
I think how they filmed it was one thing, because it, yeah. it, it's like a mix of CGI and many other things. It was amazing. Yeah, it was good, right? Yeah, yeah. Because basically, you're <laughs> you're using basically you're using your body to be like in like basically like transform into well, I would say transform, but like basically, um, like I don't know how to explain it, but you know what I'm trying to go with is like basically like how they had the movies, like you, you sleep. And then, yeah, basically you're trying to sleep, but then you're, you're like dreaming and like you're using your dreams yeah. to be at work into like somebody else's body, mm-hmm. something like that ish. It was pretty good, uh, pretty good. And uh, but when when is that time, or when is it supposed to be coming out? The second one, the sequel. I don't know. Some of these movies hasn't even said specifically when it's gonna come out. Uh huh. Some some of them are supposed to come out like around summer and fall i believe it sure. i'm not too sure so they don't have an actual date yeah no they said it was gonna come out soon in 2017 i don't know when specifically yeah these dates they're gonna have like trailers or at least uh-huh. i don't know yet but hopefully we'll get some more info about these movies and stuff <clears throat> but the next one next one Okay, what is it? What's oh the next one? God. I don't know. You have already might have seen the first movie and read the book. And what people was talking about as like was a trend. Was say Wait, you, is this a Star Wars movie or something? No. Hi- Harry Potter? No. no. Uh, what is it? Fifty Shades of Darker. Wait, why are we... Do you like that movie? You even like Fifty Shades of Grey? I no. I that's not something I would probably. That's not what am I uh, looking forward to. <laughs> Neither am I. It's like basically like I don't get the point of. Do you know? Do you people, know what it's about? Do you basically know what Fifty Shades of Grey is about? No, I always hear about. In my high school days, everyone will say Fifty Shades of Grey, Fifty Shades of Grey, Fifty Shades of Grey. I'm almost like, what the hell does this even mean? And I'm surprised they even had a book. And they made a movie like well, a year it, after. I yeah, graduated. basically, it started. It started as a book, and that's what the girls like because it was a uh, per se a romantic, not even romance. It was a sexual, <laughs> sexual expression of a dude that's pretty messed up yeah. in the head. I haven't read the book. I just what I've I was asking all my girlfriends <clears throat> about like why why do you girls like this story? And yeah, they explained it. I'm like, okay, yeah. I see. And there's uh, some and there's some guys like this as well. Which uh, I still don't. I, 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 the good thing I've never watched. Do you know what it's about? Tell I've me what you think in your mind it's about. Well, I have a feeling. Well, you know, I never read the book or seen the movie, but I have a feeling that this is probably Ooh, this like you said, like a romance. I have a feeling. I have a feeling uh-huh. it's probably something like dealt with romance. Uh huh. Mainly romance. That's all my. Okay. All my guess <laughs> I have. Okay, it's a little more than that. Let's just say. <clears throat> How far are you into? Did you excel at sex education when you were in high school? Did you excel in that by any chance? I Never mind. Let me rephrase of, uh, that. Do, do you know well, the birds and bees? Pretty much. Birds and bees. No. Okay, let's just move on to the next movie. <laughs> let's just next. Yeah. Let's let's yeah, move like, on. Yeah, like <laughs> I said. Mm-hmm. I'm not like those that keep the trend, like. Uh huh. Jeez. Oh, okay. What, now, what other movie one, you got? What, what's the other one? So this one, this next one, was supposed to come out in 2014. You know how when people like people was talking about this movie that was supposed to come out in 2014 as uh-huh. rumors, but then that movie got pushed to 2016, but then now that movie pushed got pushed back to 2017, and this is a Disney movie. You and. Probably this would be a stupid question, which obviously you probably already seen Disney movies. Uh-huh. But this one is The Incredibles Two. Uh, the Incredibles Two. I, you know what? I I will be happy for The Incredibles Two. I can't wait. I didn't know they're making sequel. Welcome, people coming into the room. We are in the middle of our podcast. Feel free to interact with us. Um, I yeah, like the first Pokemon. Incredibles. It was a great movie. Disney. You can't go wrong with Disney. You, that was a favorite yeah. of yours too, right? As well. Yeah, Incredibles was one. Like, like Disney is like, you know, I'm starting to like dislike in Disney. Like, I like the, the back in the day, like how they had all like movies animated, and then now they're like bringing back uh-huh. the ones like now like fully remastered, like actually fully like CGI, all that kind of stuff. Uh huh. That's that's good, man. Um, 
The Incredibles two. When was the last one that? When was the last time they had their the first movie? What year was that? That was quite a while ago, right? Uh, ooh, that was like. I was like really like young. I can tell if I was in like in my elementary days. Uh huh. Oh, that's Probably say like cool. around early two thousands, I believe. I don't know. Could be wrong. Actually, no. I think it probably is around two thousands, like early two thousands. <laughs> yeah. I, I wow. Well, I wonder why they took a while for it. Is it is it Pixar? I think. We'll... Yeah, Pixar. It's basically like same thing with Finding Nemo, and mainly Finding Dory because I don't yeah. know if you were aware about that. That that movie was supposed to come out back in twenty fourteen, uh -huh. but then that got delayed. Yeah. Uh, five are, uh, what's it called? Cassie here says she doesn't watch too much movies. She doesn't watch too much TV, which I understand. Like I was at that point where I wasn't, I don't, I don't even watch that many shows on TV as well right now. I'll catch on to something before I sleep. I watch the old TV shows, so I'll just leave it yeah. on and stuff. But, uh, yeah, I'll do the same thing. Cause yeah. I don't watch like TV, like TV shows nowadays. So it's just yeah. like, I, it's not my, it's like, that's, yeah, it's like, that's why I don't want, like the only thing I watch TV is like, Whenever it was like sports games or pay-per-view, like I'll have it on my laptop right here, mm -hmm. and then just set it up on my flat screen TV, and that's mm -hmm. like the only thing I'll watch is just sports and pay-per-view events. But like TV, just like uh oh, uh oh, just stop watching it. Uh -huh. okay, yeah, you know, um, Mulan is one of your favorite movies. You know what though, movie Disney movies, you really can't go wrong. I mean, like. You, yeah, you the can't last go wrong one, with the classics. Definitely, yeah, you, you know, go. especially with uh, Frozen. Did you see? Everybody oh had God. a YouTube video of them singing the song. What was that song? Um, don't even, don't even go there. Don't even go there. <laughs> let it go, let it go, <laughs> let it go. Let I, you know, you know, I, that, that is why Disney movies have that one it factor. Where you're gonna remember some bit of piece. I, apparently, Ortiz all passed out, but by my great me. singing, I just can't help it. Welcome, Joey. Uh, Who's but, dude? Uh, it is a uh, rapper. Guys, we What's are talking up? about movies. Um, apparently, the room thinks it's your bedtime. You're supposed to go to bed. Yeah, I sleep like around ten, so that's why I was trying to hurry you up. <laughs> let it go, let it go, let it go. Call me when he's done. <laughs> Oh, it was great. It is great. You need to do a solo on that, man. Big Hero 6 no, is another. Are you familiar with Big Hero 6? Um, here's my... Uh, I heard yeah. I heard about it, but I've never watched it. You never? No? You never seen it? Hmm? No. I always wanted to watch that movie, but I always keep forgetting. Dude, you for keep forgetting. There's, there's... You keep forgetting? Yeah, it's like... How do you keep forgetting? No, what's even, what's even worse... Deadpool. I still don't have any oh, watched that. Deadpool is a favorite, dude. Deadpool. That's a must I think originally <laughs> I heard yeah, whoever else was supposed to um, produce that movie, they backed out because they knew how Deadpool was with the whole how explicit he could be, all the cussing, things like yeah. that. So they let another studio yeah. do it. And this studio, they gambled well because they are very successful in that first movie. You've seen Deadpool, right? Uh, no, like I said, I still haven't watched that movie. Ooh, you got, like the you only thing, like, like the only thing I I was starting to get no familiar, a little familiar with Deadpool was because of X Men Origins Wolverine. Oh, when That's he how... was there, no, he fought him or something, yeah. right? Yeah, he was in that except movie. without a costume. He he was like he looked he was all just basically torn, right all normal until by the end of the film where that's where mm -hmm. he didn't have the mouth. He yeah. was all shaped. Yeah, and yeah. Basically, that's basically that's, that's where, and then also got the blade out of his. <clears throat> well, basically, his sword was coming out. But yeah, um, too bad that wasn't a true representation of what Deadpool is, because Deadpool is all about him being a loudmouth, him being a, a sarcastic guy. He just says what's on yeah. his mind and just doesn't give an f kind of deal. Um, but yeah, yeah that Deadpool, that yeah, Deadpool. I know that's, that's for so sure gonna be like a sequel, right? Yeah, because basically, yeah. Speaking of that, there was as you already already know, Deadpool two. Of Deadpool, course. Yeah, Deadpool two uh -huh. is supposed to come out. I think is it on my list? I don't remember. Yeah, uh -huh. I think it's supposed to come out ne either. I believe next year. I'm feeling. I'm not too sure. Uh huh. But 
I, I, maybe hopefully, hopefully they, it's gonna be a good one yeah maybe if i do have time tomorrow because you know I, I have to work tomorrow which probably not much of work but if i do have time if i remember yeah before i stream i'll try to watch deadpool yeah if you can it'll be a good movie to, to talk yeah, about because, really. yeah, yeah because that movie oh my god you know i heard that movie is so funny and stuff but oh let me watch this one now this movie i wasn't expecting well i didn't hear anything about this movie and i thought the third part of it was going to be the last one. Yeah. And this one is a Marvel movie. Okay, what movie Iron, is this? X-Men. Iron Man, Iron Man 4. Ooh. Okay, so there is a lot of rumor that uh, Robert Downey Jr. is not going to be playing him anymore. Is this true? Do you know anything about that? By the pictures they had, it's, it's still with Robert Downey. Okay, maybe it's the last one. Who knows, but... Yeah, because I thought the third one was gonna be the last one. I don't know if you're aware, like by the ending of it. Yeah. Like once, once he had the, once he had did surgery and to get the light out of his chest. Uh huh. I thought that was probably gonna be it. Like that was probably yeah. the last movie that was gonna be in. But well, apparently but, in the comics, there's another a girl takes over, right? Did you know about that? Nah, I barely read. I haven't read comics in uh-huh. ages. Uh huh. Okay. Well, apparently in the comics. Uh, there a girl, a teenage, a teenage girl or someone. She actually takes over for for uh Starks, Tony Starks, and uh, mm-hmm. I, I guess that was supposed to be the end of it, something like that. I, I, don't, I know. don't know. The comic universes are like really kind of like, weird. <laughs> I, I don't know. Like they'll, go, like they'll go like sometimes. Like you know, I met people from college. Like they will literally read comic books and they will literally go into detail by uh-huh. the movies, by the comic books, and they will literally try to. Yeah. Put into like what like what it actually means. Like with Jono, how he told me uh-huh. how with Venom, how he was originally not a villain, which all this time I always considered him as a villain. Venom. Okay. Wait, let me I'm just thinking uh, wait, the, well I don't know. Ever, he probably knows more about that stuff though, so you know. Yeah, that's why because that's why he was telling me about it. Well, so what did he say why. about it? What did he say about Venom? Uh, <coughs> well, the only thing I can remember exactly is that Venom was originally supposed to be good. Yeah. I don't know how he was meant to be good, but like if you ever play like Spider-Man video games, watch any like those TV series or the movies, yeah, they'll have Venom as the bad guy. But I think by Jono's point of view, he said in the comic books, I believe he was supposed to be good. I don't know how. Uh-huh. Oh, in comic books, they also had him as bad, but I just don't see it like how he's supposed to be good if he's a villain. Mm-hmm. Like, I, don't, I don't see the point of it. Like, Maybe he has a backstory that might have been... Yeah, I think, I yeah, know. he was telling me something about it. Like, I'm not too sure. Like, he probably will not ask John about it because he probably is a more of a comic book nerd than I am because I'll just like read the comic book like <laughs> yeah. a normal human being and, yeah. and just, just like next then to the next book or something. Oh, but, Cassie says she used to watch Scooby Doo movies when she was younger. I remember those times too. I, I liked the Scooby Doo movies. Like, yes. what? What? Freddie Prince Jr. <laughs> Is that the one? Right? Yeah, I think so. Think and um, Daphne yeah. and uh, Velma. Yeah I, like, I like, yeah, I like the second one. The second one was better. I, I always thought Velma was cute. It's the glasses no, Daphne, or something. No, Daphne. She's the one. But Daphne was better in the second one than the first one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think they still make Scooby Doo movies. Hey, they make uh, basically just like animated ones. Yeah, like yeah, like huh. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But uh, other than that, uh, what else you got on your list right there of movies? Next one we got Zombie. This is wait, Zombie Land Two. Zombie Land Two. Oh, okay. I remember. I was thinking. Yeah. You know, then like, uh, what yeah, did you I think? Seen... Did you have seen Zombie Land One? I've seen part of it. It's the I've one. Seen... It's the guy from um. Social media or social? He was the guy that played the Facebook dude. No, was that him? Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah, right? I think it was. Oh, no, or he I, was in I, that. Uh, he's in that he magic a... movie. Now you see me. Have you ever seen that movie? Heard of it, but never seen it. Okay, it's, I'm having a, mo- a movie conversation but, but with know, you. You have you're... not seen half the uh, stuff we're but talking I, about. But I know who exactly you're talking about. I know the actor is that. I just don't know the name. I can't remember his name. Maybe I know... you. He knew. <laughs> 
Maybe I could ask Chad. Any of you guys seen these movies, people? Because he looks like that. He look because he kind of almost looks like he's Michael Sarah. You know, I know it. It's not Michael Sarah. <laughs> looks, like looks like Michael Sarah. <laughs> like, tell me, you know who's Michael Sarah? Please tell me, you know who he is. Super bad. Yeah, I know who Michael Sarah <laughs> yeah. is. Good. Yeah. That's what I'll say. If you don't, if you don't know him, at least we're gonna have some problems. Oh man. Yeah, I don't even think he's been doing much. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah Scott, it's like Scott, Scott Pilgrim takes over the world or something, right? It wasn't that no. Scott Pilgrim? That wasn't him? No, no, it was the same guy that played Who in Zombie George? Land. It was the same one. No, no, Sarah. not Scott Pilgrim. You know, you know yeah. what movie I'm talking about? Yeah, Scott, Scott Pilgrim versus the world. It's basically it's that sort of that, like the hundred yeah, versus one. But that, that was not the guy that was playing Zombie Land. That no, was not him. No. Because he's too older. It was Michael Sarah. Yes, it was. It was Michael Sarah. <laughs> I thought I thought it was the other guy, the one that played Zombie. I mean, it looked like more of him uh, than Michael Sarah. I'm pretty sure it wasn't Michael Sarah. I'm well, pretty sure it wasn't. Okay. Because I did. Because I did see part of Zombie Land, but it was. It was like. It was like it was all right, but at the same time, it was like kind of stupid because they say like if you, if you paid attention like to the movie like how that cowboy dude he was yeah, always uh, white he would always been complaining about where's my fried where's my like I think he said Twinkies or fried dough oh, I forgot man. how he said it. Yeah, you guys, I suggest to chat. You guys gotta check out Zombie Land just because it's a, uh, it's it's a good movie if you like zombies. You like zombies? Yeah. You watch Zombieland. It's pretty funny. It's like your survival kit on how to survive a zombie uh, apocalypse. Apocalypse, yeah. Basically. And if you ever play at least like the Black series, that's also part of your how to survive. What's up, Visual? How you doing? We are talking about movies here. Um, what else do you have on your list that's coming out next year? No, this one. I'm going to assume so there's, you're going to save the best for last, which... I'm surprised you Basically, haven't got to this this movie, the movie I'm thinking of yet. But go ahead, we'll no, we'll probably no, build to this, it. No, because this the the one the movie I'm saving best for last is a, a huge childhood memory. Okay, which this one would like, that be? What would that, that be? That one I'm gonna I'm gonna save that for last. That I'm gonna save it for last because this one is gonna be a long discussion. Okay, cool, cool. What's your next one? Next one, I'm surprised. This movie was big. We're gonna make it because this, the last one that it did. Well, this one is the new Transformers movie. Is the new the is it? Is it the final one, or they're just gonna keep making Transformer movies? Because <laughs> well, I don't know. Because you watched the Age of Extinction, right? Oh yeah, that's is that the one with Mark Wahlberg? Yeah, the one with Mark Wahlberg. Basically, they change all the actors. Like they don't have Shia LaBeouf anymore. They don't have Shia Megan LaBeouf. Fox anymore. <laughs> basically, basically they don't got all the originals the original transformer actors <laughs> oh so basically uh-huh yeah go ahead go ahead so basically age of extinction was supposed to be the last one as they said but then uh -huh. out of nowhere rumors were starting to spread that there were going to be another transformers movie oh uh. Well, you know so, that that is a franchise yeah. that will keep making you money. So I don't, I don't, yeah. I'll understand. They'll keep making those Transformer movies until it is like crap. No one likes it. Um, and I was yeah. just to answer Visual Eight Seventy Sevens. Yeah, we were talking about that movie Zombie Land, and apparently yeah. my partner here has not seen it. We're supposed to be talking about Zombie Land and Zombie Land. Like I said, I saw part of it. I Zombie Land's a great movie. I, I love it. I, I like. I just like how it's just a survival, like a way to survival, a zombie, like what's it called? How to survive an apocalypse. Yeah. Um, Lunaco here it's... loves the new Ninja Turtle movie. I have not seen that. Have you seen the movie? Seen... You haven't I seen have that, Ortiz? Okay, no, Ortiz, I, I need to ask you, what was the last movie you saw? I, I need to know what was the last movie you saw because half these movies we're mentioning you have not seen or you've probably seen a commercial or bits of pieces or something on YouTube. What have you seen? The last movie I saw was Batman vs. Superman. Okay, that was last summer-ish, right? Uh, it was this past. I, I, I think it was that long time ago. Right? Yeah, it wasn't that long time ago, but that was the last movie I saw mm -hmm. was Batman vs. Superman. But then, like, some of the movies I listed, yeah, I've seen, like, parts of the movie, or I, or I saw the entire movie, but I just can't remember off the top of my head. Because, like I said, it's been a while since I've watched yeah. movies like I would used to. Yeah. But but with Transformers, like, 
my favorite Transformer movie, Transformer movie of all time will have to be the first one. First one was. Oh, uh, you know, I did like the first one. Well, okay, but but okay, so me, um, it was this summer. Okay, it's confirmed. It's been summer. Yeah, it was this summer. Yeah, oh, I wanna it wasn't also, that long. I want to acknowledge Lunaku's comment on the Ninja Turtle movie. I still want to see that. I because I know Seamus is on it. There's Bebop Seamus and Rocksteady. You can't go wrong yeah. with with those classic characters from when I grew up with it. From when I saw the original cartoons back in the late eighties, early nineties. Um, but yeah, uh, the th okay. So the the Transformers movie, the first one. Okay, I see what they're trying to do, modernizing everything and all that. But yeah. I was in an era where Bumblebee was called Bumblebee. <laughs> Because he resembled a bug. Yeah. I he was not a freaking Camaro. He was a no. freaking bug, and that's yeah, what bothered no. me. Like, why did you do that? Why? And yeah. and what? He can't talk. He had to talk with the use of a radio, of a radio or radio yeah. st yeah. station signals. What the hell is that? Bumblebee yeah, was like the friendliest Volkswagen Beetle that you could have. Not this whacked out Chevy Camaro. That only speaks in bits and pieces of infomercials or whatnot. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, because I when I was doing like my research about the like from the previous like also with the comparing like from the nowadays games <clears throat> to like the basically like I think what was it like basically like the, from the old from the probably like PlayStation One. Yeah. Transformers. Basically, with some of them. <clears throat> and I think Bumblebee was like how they had the Transformers like. They were supposed to be like animals, but then now all of a sudden now you have them in cars. Like the worst one that Transformers started. Transformers would have been pra which one is it? Um because the last one I saw a video on YouTube of the one of the classic Transformers game was Transformers uh, I think it had to be Primal, I believe. Uh huh. That's know. the one where Optimus Prime is a monkey, right? <clears throat> Sorry, I got a text back. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I don't know. Uh -huh. They're all like in. They were like all in bugs. I just yeah. can't remember. I, it was like a, a little while back. I saw the video of it. Uh -huh. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah. But, um. But oh, just to answer visual right here. Uh. He he's. <laughs> he said you've probably seen thirty five movies on Netflix, but you only saw the beginning of them. <clears throat> Lol. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're gonna bring back the Dinobots. That would be awesome. Um, I, I I was hearing something about they probably might bring in Dinobots, but I was hearing something about they probably gonna bring. New legends, yeah. Because the Dinobots from the last one, those were legends, which I for, I literally forgot about how Dude. Dinobots are legends. I forgot. I used to watch. Uh huh. Because I used to watch Transformers like cartoon series years ago when I was a little kid. Yeah. And I forgot Dinobots were legends. Dude, I was yeah. They were legends. I remember if you were a little kid, I watched when the first showing of the the first generation of Transformers when I was five years uh -huh. old. So then I've seen it where uh, they tra they crashed into a mountain. A computer uh -huh. named Teletran 1 actually scoped out the place. He would find a car. He would find the robot that would match with that or something, and they would build them. But first, the Decepticons were made first. And then, like, you know, Megatron was made into that gun, and he made all that. They all – no, it was all about Energon cubes at that time. And yeah, then, basically um, you have the cube. Yeah, yeah basically the that. little purple. I, I recommend everyone in the chat, please watch the first season of Transformers Generation One on on DVD. Just please check it out, and you'll understand what yeah. I'm talking about. But go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, because the first time I watched like a cartoon of Transformers was Transformers the Animated Series. Uh huh. That, that was like my first one. Yeah. And literally, if I can remember off the top of my head, because I remember the one of the episodes, and it was kind of stupid that they brought in Constructor bots. I oh, like, Constructicons in the, oh wait, we're we talking no. about the movie? No, the animated series. Oh. The cartoon they had it on Cartoon Network. Basically like when they had cartoons really good back in the day. Oh yeah, yeah. Basically oh, actually, I don't know if, they, I guess, uh, You didn't like the Constructicons. The Constructobots? No, I didn't like them. The Constructicons. Let's get it right. The Constructicons. No, they're no, Decepticons. They, no, that they were no, construction they, things. Uh-huh. No, they no, they were that's how they started off first. As Constructobots. But they didn't know which side they were on, if they were either Autobots or Decepticons, until uh -huh. unexpectedly they... Wait, which cartoon was this? That It totally does not sound like the one I know. I know it's, Transformers. It's, this... it's Transformers Animated Series. If you look it up on oh, Cartoon is this, Network... Oh, is this not Generation 1? This is the different one. It, it was probably the no, different this one. No, was, this was years, like... After that? 
way after that. Uh, it's on, okay. it's that on Cartoon sense. Network. That would make it sense. Used to, it used to be on Cartoon Network, but I used yeah. to watch that almost like every weekend. Yeah, yeah. That's how yeah. it was kind of stupid how they had Constructable Bots. Because literally, they just came in out of nowhere, like probably like a flashing light. Uh-huh. And literally, one, one of the construct, I forgot what it was, the construction mm-hmm. trucks they it was, they transformed. And then literally, they didn't know if they were, I think I forgot who the who they were met by. I think it was Starscream, I believe they were met by. Uh-huh. Or was it somebody else? I can't remember. But then they didn't weren't too sure if they were either aligned, aligned with the Autobots yeah. or the Decepticons. Yeah. So they just said randomly, Autobots. But then they were like, Err. so it was like, whoops, no, Decepticons. And they, they weren't sure what they were. They weren't sure what they were. Yeah, That's... it's like they didn't know. Uh-huh. They didn't know because they were literally, they were just constructible bots. Like they just came in out of nowhere. Like, yeah. Like yeah. no one like, oh, we're good. We're just gonna put in these guys, and we don't know where we're gonna put them in, so we're just gonna put them in like that. True. Um, like I, I remember watching. They did mo- a movie based on the Generation One cartoons, which is probably out. You could buy it at Best Buy or something. Uh, mm-hmm. Transformers the movie. Um, it was the one where Optimus Prime dies, which was sad. He actually, the cartoon version died. Do you, oh, have you seen this? And then it, it was taken over by an Autobot named Hot Rod, who then opens up the Matrix, turns into this character called Rodimus Prime. You don't know any of this stuff, do you? No, no. So then, like um, I said, I was, a, I was uh, born in 95, dude, so I wouldn't know. Th- that is your homework. I want you to see season one of the Generation 1 Transformers, just the simple ones, the basis for it all. They had humans as allies in there. They, a guy named Obviously. Spike and Sparkplug, they were a part of this. Uh huh. But you should check that out. Um, also, uh-huh. uh, in part of that movie, that that Transformers movie, they had this planet that was eating up all the, the you know, Decepticons, Autobots, all the Transformers. It was supposed uh-huh. to eat Cybertron, but then the Autobots came together and stopped it, yeah. and that planet blew up. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Transformers, it has gone. You're right. It's gone through so many changes. It's been gone through so much. Yeah, yeah. Because mainly, like the only movie I didn't like so much was starting to like make up like, like, like age. Like, well, yeah, Age of Extinction was all right. Yeah. But mainly, what started causing causing it to not start and go down was uh-huh. what was the second one? I forgot the name of it. The second one. Mm-hmm. Uh, Revenge of the Fallen. I didn't. At first, I thought it was gonna be yay, like yeah, it was gonna be amazing. But when I saw it, the day it came out, or probably I saw yeah. it day after it came out, it was yeah. just like the oh. fuck. Yeah. See, uh, why, why, when Megatron used to trans, uh, he transformed, he could fit in, in the other plane's hand. Oh, that was Starscream. Starscream is the other plane. His uh, his yeah. right hand, not really right hand man, because he hated Starscream. Starscream yeah, would always be the plane that always mess up. Yeah, basically he'll follow orders, but then he'll mess up. Yeah, he'll he'll mess up pretty bad and stuff. Yeah, literally. Okay, but let's move on with the movies. We've been stuck on Transformers for a while. What else you got there? This one, another unexpected movie, and this one has been out for quite a while. Uh huh. Chucky Seven. Wait, child, is this child's play? Like Chucky? Like, yeah. Uh, eh, 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 really? The Chucky, the Child's Play. Ah, interesting. They're rebooting this franchise up again, or what? I wonder. I think so. I've never watched a single. I've heard about this one because every single play. time I see the toy of it or the picture, he creeps me out. <laughs> literally, that's why I never watch a single Chucky movie because literally that toy doll creeps me out every single time when I see him. You <laughs> should buy one. I think you should buy one. Hell no. If I see it, I'm burning that and throwing it out. What about if I just brought it with me and just had it next to the stream, like right here, and just, hey Ortiz, oh look at this. Mm. I'm just gonna, mm. I'm just gonna cover the screen, <laughs> or or just cover the Chucky doll and then just see your face. That's right? it. Yeah, I totally forgot about that Child's Play movie. Yeah, that yeah, Child's Play I, movie. Oh man, oh it's. I, I seen I seen clips of it on do, YouTube. Do you watch horror movies at all? Do you watch any horror movies at all? I do, but not as much now. No. Okay. Not as much. What was your but favorite horror I, movie? What was your favorite horror movie? Favorite horror movie. Oh, if I can remember which one was. 
know it's been a while since I've watched movies. Um, God, what was the last horror movie I've watched? <laughs> it was the last. I don't movie even. I don't even remember. I've watched. I watched a couple of horror movies, but I can't remember exactly. Yeah, visual scene, like, The Conjuring. That's scary as hell. Like anything no. to do with like all that possessed stuff and all that. Ugh, no, I, I no. Like this next thing. one is way worse. What is than it? Scary. What is Annabelle it? Annabelle Two. Oh, I've seen the first. I actually talked about this on the last. What did I, I, heard... I talked about it on the last uh, podcast? I think which was last Saturday. Yeah, on the last thing we did, it was. Uh, I've I've seen the first one. You never seen the first one? No, because my friends was telling me how scary it was. Literally, oh, it is. They... It is that it stuff. Was... Oof. Dude, I heard and I saw the reviews of it. Jesus Christ, it's literally like not a, like, even though it's a good movie, but they wouldn't even recommend it to you to watch that movie. You know, it is scary, but it was, people like that. It people was surprisingly like that. that I never knew of, and I did my research on it. Like uh, you know, the Annabelle doll. Yeah. It's actually, real. It was based on a true story. Yeah. Yeah. Based on a true story, and I was like, and it's literally they have a doll like it's in a museum, like literally like probably like a few miles away where I live. Oh, good luck with that, dude. <laughs> no, no. Uh, at the end of the movie, it shows the doll being blessed every day by priests or something. It has to be in the thing one. Uh, visual scene, yeah, no, the first it, one. Yeah, it's... yeah, because they have because they have it in a box right now. Yeah, in a museum. Yeah, you know. And if, huh? you know, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, and even if you open it, yeah, huh? Maya con Dios, you're fucked. Yep, pretty much. Like honestly, I respect ghosts. I believe they're there. I'm there mm -hmm. not to mess with them. Why would I want to contradict the ghost? They're they they're just, you know what? Whatever they have to do, I will not get in their way. <laughs> uh -huh. But all I ask is, okay, I give you respect. Let me do my thing, kind of deal. Yeah, yeah. Exact. Visual said, "Who would buy a doll?" Yeah, not us. <laughs> not yeah, us. No. We are not going to be buying that. Yeah, in no. no way. Like no way, you dude. still buy the doll, but like just like replicas of fake ones. But yeah. the real one, like I said, is like probably like few miles away where i live so and, and basically my buddies was telling me that we should plan a trip going to the museum and i was like are you crazy yeah okay. <laughs> oh, it's, it's the same thing i was like yay yeah, okay but at the same time i was like do you want to die yeah that that is not that would not be on my to-do list that is not gonna be on my bucket list i will gladly avoid that no shame yeah. no shame at all i'm not <laughs> You want to go see a haunted doll? No, thank you, but I'll let me know about it. <laughs> let me know yeah. about it, dude. Yeah. yeah, come back when you're like in a million pieces or whatever. Exactly. Yeah, because yeah, I, it's like, I, like, okay, I don't mind playing a trip, but at the same time, I don't want to die. So. Yeah, I don't feel like dying. <laughs> not not today. Yeah, I don't mess with that, dude. You know, I, just, yeah. I yeah. visual totally, I agree with visual. Yeah, 877 visual, is yeah, cool, yeah. man. He, he's, he yeah, knows visual, what's up. Yeah. So uh, yeah, what else? Did. What else movies you got? This the topic is movies. We got to move on to the next one. This next one was kind of stupid. I seen a movie of it. The first time I saw it, I saw it at night and I couldn't sleep. The then I watched this movie again. It was boring. What Slender Man the movie. Oh god. Ugh. I I remember the video game uh Slender something whatever. Uh, Slender the Pages. I think it was Slender the Page something Pages. Something Slender something uh, Slender Man. So let's get this straight. Someone that's trying to kill you is a skinny guy. It's basically a, a tall, <laughs> skinny. Yeah. Basically, basically, say a twig, a giant twig is gonna kill you. Wow, twig, is that really for real? Basically, <laughs> how does he kill a, you? How does the twig kill you? I don't know. Give you splinters not, all over I'm your not, body? How does that work? No. If you if you watch the movie and play the game, the thing is that. You're like you're that person that's like shooting a video or something like a basically like a daily vlog, yeah, or something, yeah. So basically, he will come in out of nowhere, yeah. <clears throat> and if you see him or something, or if you're near him, yeah. your camera will go staticky. That means he's near to you. Oh. So you, and plus you don't want to look at him as well because that's worse. That's... that's even worse. So it's basically it's like this, basically like here. Like, let's say this giant water bottle is Slender Man, and this is you. Oh. You're basically, like, if you're facing that way and yeah. he's behind you, yeah. and your cameras go staticky, yeah. you literally want to avoid away from him. But if you turn around yeah. and you're, like, literally close to him, yeah. like, gate close, like, face-to-face, -face, you're dead because you're already dragged <laughs> into it. So, later, you want to basically avoid looking at, 
at him and be away from him. I see. Um, oh, uh, so let's get uh, – we got some uh, updates here. Justice Fury says I, the new Iron Man is Riri Williams. And, uh, yeah, uh, Visual says that Slender Man looks like a big Q-tip. <laughs> yeah, bas- yeah, basically. He kind of reminds say, me of yeah. Jack Skeleton from uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Nightmare Before Christmas, yeah. That's all he sounds like. But uh, a happy one or a scary one? I don't know. I don't know. But this one he comes in, like, randomly. As I'm saying, surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> All right, next movie. What do we got? What do we got here? So basically, you're aware of the Justice League rumors, right? Uh, so so is this true that DC's actually gonna make a Justice League with Superman and Batman? But what I heard was it wasn't gonna be like the original characters that portrayed them in the <clears throat> solo movies, like such as like you know, I I might not see Ben Affleck as Batman. It might be someone else. Is no, Ben right? Affleck is Ben Affleck is still gonna be Batman. Because if you ask me. The, what's it called? We, uh, Justice League? No, not Justice League. The Avengers did was well done. Avengers uh, was well done. It was very well done. They got the cool. original characters that played, ex- minus, uh, what's it called? Incredible Hulk, because there's been many different Incredible Hulks. Yeah, but it, it was a good job. Hulks. So what? What yeah. did you? What's the story with um, Justice League? So base. So as of what I heard right now, Ben Affleck is still gonna be Batman. The same guy that played Superman in Man of Steel is still going to be in it. Uh-huh. The same lady that played as Wonder Woman from the Batman for Superman is still going to be there. Uh-huh. So now, from what's, so as you've probably already seen Batman for Superman, how they were introducing or trying to figure out where the rest of the Justice League members at. Mm-hmm. That's when, basically, now they're starting doing this. The Justice League movie, now they're going to have all three from the characters of the Batman for Superman movie. Okay. And now they're going to bring in Cyborg. Aquaman, yeah, The Flash. Uh huh. Um, I'm gonna try to think who else. I heard the Joker was gonna be in that movie. Which the Joker? Joker. Like Suicide Squad Joker? No, regular no, Joker? no, no. It's basically like if you played the Arkham series games. Yeah, like that kind of Joker. Oh, nice, nice. Basically, I forgot what was this guy's name. If, if have you ever watched the first Spider-Man movie for with Tobey Maguire? Tobey Maguire, plays, yes, yes. The one that plays Green Green Goblin. Oh, that is yes, I do. He was on a bunch of other classic movies like Platoon and stuff. I know exactly yeah. who it is. I just don't yeah. know the yeah, name. Yeah, basically, right now they were saying that he he's he's like more of a chance of being the Joker in the Justice League movie. Huh. Interesting. You know, if uh, Heath Ledger was still alive, you no, would just have no, it right there. Uh-huh. Like, even though I'm, I never knew, like, he died while they were making the movie, which R.I.P. to him. Even though I gotta say the way he played as a joker yeah was really good because i've watched like if have you ever like or heard about this youtube channel called watch mojo yeah basically they did a comparison with heath heath ledger and i believe jack nicholson i believe oh jack nicholson was that was kind of my era when i saw the batman with michael keaton yeah they were comparing who which which of them two were the better joker and i think that if i'm correct if i can remember top of my head I think Heath Ledger won. Oh, he is the most demonic one. Yes, <laughs> no. I have to agree. That's pretty good. He did yeah. a good job. Like he, yeah, he did a really good job. Especially what I heard about in the in the last part in the last scene of in a Dark Knight uh-huh. that for that part he had he had he was drunk. He had. He like said he was, he was drunk. drunk. Is that what he yeah, said? No, 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 no. Like the part that he did, like remember, like how he was hanging and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That like, he had to do that part. Like I think he was drunk in that part. Is this confirmed that he was drunk? That's why I heard. I'm not too sure. I think it probably. Hey, that's might the be first confirmed. I've heard of. Uh, but I heard that he really had to think of uh, himself in a very dark place in order for him to get that character out of him. And yeah, he did a good was... job, man. Yeah, like I'm two different like jokers. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, even though I guess even though R.I.P. to him, yeah, like I say he's still like probably I'll consider him as like more of like my one of my favorite jokers of all time. And plus, don't forget, don't get me wrong, yeah, he also got Mark Hamill. You yeah. know, I do love the way he portrays the voice of the Joker, which he does a really good job in, in the video games. But I'm, I'm surprised. Speaking of, I still I gotta check to see if the the Return to Arkham is out because I yeah. I heard that they're bringing back. The first two Arkham games yep. remastered. The remastering it, yeah. He said, uh, Vigil says, the old Batmans, you did not see anyone die. The audience was different. Yes, that is true. Um, 
I started yeah. seeing more deaths during like the very first one in 1989 with Michael Keaton, where uh, huh? Jack Nicholson, when he was a Joker, he actually died at the end because he got dropped. He dropped on his head, and it was creepy because he had this voice box thing that would just laugh like, eh, 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 and it was broken. It would just go nonstop, and that's how he died mm. in that one, in that movie at least. Mm. But the old Mad Bands, yeah, he. I don't think it was all about killing people. Like, for instance, Superman, yeah, no. he was not meant to kill anybody, but he killed Zod in the movie. Yeah, he, killed part, he killed Zod. But in reality, yeah. Superman was not about about killing people. So yeah, he was just... Basically, like, the, basically, like with, also with Marvel as well, like, basically, you can say the same thing with both Marvel yeah. and DC. They basically were set not to kill. Uh-huh. But basically, I was surprised Superman probably was like, the, I don't know if he's like, the only, probably is the only character in DC, but I don't know if, if also in Marvel. I should know well, Marvel. You probably have basically also is about X Men. They will oh, kill. Oh, they killed everybody. Obviously. Yeah, it's a lot yeah of so obviously that's basically. Um, but yeah, basically they're mainly more it's just not to kill. Yeah, but I'm surprised. Uh, but let me just tell Chad. Chad, feel free to <laughs> drop in some questions. We're kind of winding down now uh, for the modcast, but go ahead, ask any of us anything you want to know, and we will do mm-hmm. our best of our ability to answer them. But, yeah. uh, let's let's go down the list right now. It is kind of uh, we're running out of time. Uh, what else you got going on? Uh, Next one, I got blank the Black Panther. Excuse me, I don't know. I have Black Panther, but I have Black Panther. Is it uh The Rock? Uh, I don't know who's gonna play as the Black Panther. I think it's probably gonna be the same one as like from the Civil War. Huh? I think I'm not too sure. What? I didn't hear much about it. Yeah. Uh, what else you yeah. got? Go out, go, go. We have to go through the list. Just kind of do a rundown. They see we, another one. We got four. Another one. Unsurprised they're doing another one. Uh huh. Next one we got Hunger Games: The Dark Days. I yeah. started disliking Hunger Games. I like the first movie, but now it's like after a while, yeah, it's like eh, I'm over it. Rest in yeah. peace, Christopher Reeves. That is true. He was like I liked the. I grew up on that Superman. Go ahead. What else you got there? Um. Wonder Woman. I don't know if you heard, already heard about rumors about it. Wonder oh, Woman. Oh, I heard the actress. That's she's pretty cute. She's hot. Yeah. I've seen it. Yeah. Now this one, I'm surprised they're bringing back this movie. Which movie? Alien. Yeah. It, it's Alien. Yeah. Uh, I grew up on that too. I think I actually had to do a, a school report on that. <laughs> yeah, because like the first yeah. movie I saw like with Alien in it was Alien versus Predator. That yeah. was like the first one I've saw, and I saw Alien First Predator too. Those was like the first two movies I've watched that dealt with Alien and Predator at the same time. It's a pretty, pretty brutal. Yeah, that's a. It, it was a good movie, you know, <coughs> Alien versus yeah. Predator. Uh, what yeah, else? Like, like, what else did you see? Did you like that movie pretty well? Did you have you I seen like the, Predator? No, Which actually, no. I, I saw parts of it. Yeah, the one with Samuel Jackson, I believe, in it. Yeah, the one with Samuel Jackson in it. I can't remember which part it was. Mm-hmm. Uh, there was one of them was with Samuel Jackson. Yeah. But I didn't like the second part. It was kind of boring. Uh huh. The first one was also kind of boring, but at the same time, it kind of looked better. Yeah. And two, because it kind of went more into detail how yeah. it all started and stuff. Yeah. But what else we got? I'm surprised. I forgot about this saga, and I've never watched a single movie of it. Yeah. Because it didn't it didn't get like into my, much of my interest. Yeah. Final Destination Six. Oh God. Final Destination was that movie where everyone just dies, but they just after a while it's they start like dying in funny ways. Like, okay, let's see yeah, how this guy does. Die. Yeah, like they'll die unexpectedly but randomly. Yeah. So like basically you go on a roller coaster, something happened unexpectedly, you die. Or you, you or, get you just cross the street and you get hit by a bus. Yeah, basically <laughs> like that. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Visual, how old are you? You seem to be like around my age. We were, we're like agreeing on a lot of the same movies. But, probably, um, he's, probably, he's probably born the same time as you. Possibly. That Before sounds like was. he remembers Arnold making the bow and flexing those muscles. I remember that, dude. Arnold was in Predator. Yeah, that is right. Yeah, Arnold was in Predator. Uh, I, saw a little bit of, I saw a little bit of the one who was in the Commando. I'm yeah, not going to lie. Commando. I saw a little bit of it. Conan. Um, okay, what else you got? Go down the list real quick. Oh, he's a no, he, you're actually a year older than me. You know what's 30, up, dude. <laughs> He's 30. Right, right He's... on, Visual. Give us a follow, yeah. man. Give me a follow. Yeah. I want to entertain I'm, you. And I'm about to be 21. And yeah, I know. You are months. a young lad. You are a young, young lad. But uh, go ahead. Yeah. Just go down the rest of the list because we're going to have to cut this already. So what else you got in your list? 
Just run Thanks, down the names. Run down the so names. Next, These are future was, movies about to be released. Yeah. So this next one, you you should have seen at least three of the movies. Mainly the first one. Uh-huh. If not, we're gonna have problems. What Toy is? Story Four. Okay. Uh, Toy Story Four. Okay. Thank you for the follow vigil. Okay. Yeah, and I thought Toy Story Three was gonna be the last one. By the the way how they had the, the ending of Toy Story Three, and I was, and I did cry. I'm not gonna lie. I did cry. It was a sad. It was a sad it was, movie. Um, but it was. Glad. It was a sad movie. You know, here's this, one that you've you've uh, never even touched. Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. Have you the not? Is, how could you Star, not mention Star Wars? Because the new one is coming out this year. No, this is actually not the new one. It's Rogue One. It's a Star Wars it's story, this, but not part of the main. You know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, like it's gonna be like a, a new. It's it's kind of like in between certain episodes, kind of like a think of it like as origin. um like a an spin-off, origin? a spin-off. Oh, spin-off. Yeah. Yeah, no, I didn't I didn't get anything about Star Wars. The only like I said, the only one I heard so far is Rogue One. Uh-huh. I did hear there's supposed to be an, another one after it. I think I can't remember. I think it's supposed to, probably might be coming out next year. I'm not too sure. Yeah. I've heard cool. I heard a little bit of news about it, but as all as far as I know, <laughs> Rogue One is coming out in December, I believe. Uh, he lost yeah. interest too much. Yeah, you're right, Vigil. It, it's one of those movies that <laughs> they hide too much. Now they're just milking it for the franchise that it is. But um, yeah, yeah, like Star Wars, I kind of like the third episode. Yeah, third episode was my favorite. It is. But, I don't know why people dislike uh-huh. the first like episode one, two, and three, and they did for four, yeah. four, five, and six. Like I kind of like episode three. Like it was more of my favorite. That's true, dude. But, yeah. But um, your so, yeah. I'm gonna have to cut this off right now because I gotta save time for the stream later on at 8:30. Um, but 8:30? man, next time let's keep that list going on. But get some more info on the movies. I need you to be watching these movies to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> but still, we, we still got like a little like we still got like few movies left. Like yeah. we could probably quick make it quick. No, you just probably... name them right now without talking about the movies. Right. Name them right now. Go. All right. So Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy two. Okay. Spider, it's probably Spider Man or another Avengers movie. I'm okay. not too sure. Okay. Fast Eight, they should ever. They Fast should eight. just stop after yeah. Fast they should. Furious Seven. Mm-hmm. They should just stop out. <clears throat> the Wolverine is Wolver- probably gonna be the last. The last like, one. Like, yeah, probably the last one as I heard. Okay. Resident Evil, the final chapter. Okay. Nice. Juman- Jumanji with the Rock. Okay. Well. I'm going to have to cut that off for now because I actually have to go right now. I have to cut this off, dude. Quick, <laughs> okay. quick. No, no, no. I got to go. I got to answer this call, dude. Sorry. Hey, guys. Thanks for chilling in the modcast today. Um, much appreciated, people. Thanks for the follow visual. Ortizo, thank you for the info. Um, and uh, we'll continue this some other time. But yeah. All right, guys. Um, I'll see you guys on the stream at hey, 830 my to time. Tell them where they can find me. Where can, where can they find you? Hurry up. Quick. Guys, you can find me on twitch.tv slash Ortiz AL18. Instagram, Johnny Mundo. Yeah, no, yeah, Johnny underscore Mundo underscore. Okay. Twitter, Ortiz AL18. And Facebook, Johnny Mundo. That's where you can find me. Awesome. All right, man. Well, guys, thanks for hanging out. Uh, we'll see you on the stream in about an hour and a half. Peace out, guys. Say bye, bye Ortiz. Bye. Bye, guys. Adios. Buenas noches. <laughs>